Hello, this is KS Blue, and welcome back to the Cave of Ghee, and let's play Final Fantasy VII. Last time, well, we entered here to do something with a cool old guy that involves Red's parents, I guess. But let's see, which one of these goes to the left? Is it this one? Uh, yes it is, actually. The spider webs are fixed encounters, by the way. With spooky spiders! Yeah. Great. Actually, can I steal from you? Oh, clear tranquil. I can steal from you. Theoretically, at least. I mean, you have something to steal. Whether or not I can steal it or not is another matter entirely. Yep, literally identical to Aerith's first limit break. I actually really want to see what it has to stick what it has. I am curious. Show me. Any time now. Oh, it's just neither? I mean, I say just. I've basically been using those as my emergency bank supply, so having an extra either is definitely uh no. No. For wait. There we go. I had to I had to remember what boot on the press. What was it right, having an emergency bank supply is good, plus also it is legitimately a pretty useful um, item, obviously, to be able to you know, restore my MP. Kind of kind of n not kind of really useful. And it's dead. I should probably heal him now, but I'm gonna wait until the next battle. Because... I can't. Wait, what? How do I get over there? Oh, that's how. Okay then. A fairy ring? What does a fairy ring do? It protects against poison and darkness, making it base making it strictly better than the star pendant, but probably not better than immunity to fire. By the way, something I didn't mention earlier, but there are encounters in this area where wait, this this totally connects to there, doesn't it? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Right, I digress. There are encounters in this area where you can get like upwards of what? Four, 80? Yeah. Upwards of 80 AP. W on a double weep on, that turns into 160? So, for this point in the game, this is actually a pretty good place to grind up AP if you are so inclined to do so. Although, having said that, I wouldn't really recommend doing so. Uh, because, first of all, this is actually a somewhat dangerous place. But, also, well, also, it's like, how do I want to say this? How do I want to say this? What do I actually want to say? Um, also, it's not really that big a deal at this point in the game. I mean, like, it's good to optimize your AP gain even early on in this game, because it can save you a lot of trouble later on. But at the same time, it's actually not that huge a deal to... Like, it's not really worth grinding it up right now, is what I'm trying to say. So, what was I saying? I've lost my trail of thought. Um, something, something, material grinding. Right. Because the thing is, Later on in the game, when we actually need to have a lot of high-level materia, we will have much better methods of, of uh, grinding it. I mean, basically, we'll, have way, we'll be able to get way more AP per battle, really. Also, we'll have better double weapons. So, you know, that'll help a lot as well. Although, having said that, the problem with, with double weapons is that only normal weapons have uh, connected slots. 
ones that ha weapons that have increased uh, material growth invariably ha you know I'm just gonna cast freaking Rama on you. Was saying right? Weapons with enhanced um, material growth invariably have only single slots. They're never connected. And I don't think there's any armor at all with enhanced growth rate, although it could be mistaken on that. I don't really remember. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Kind of a waste of MP, but, well, I felt like it. Let's see, this is the one that goes up here. Uh, I still had to get the box, but I need to go through here first. Actually, no! Don't cut! We're totally gonna get to see Cloud's next limit break on this fight. Uh, probably. Actually, I might just save it for the boss, to be honest. In, it, in any case, I seem to have committed to showing this fight. Also, spoiler alert, there's a boss at the end. Who could ever have predicted that? Seriously, come on. What game are you playing? What game am I playing, I guess? What game are we playing? Let's go with that one! Of course there's a boss at the end. There's always a boss at the end. They... They were not all that creative about the placement of that sort of thing in this game. But yeah. Chime Hazard is probably the... So this is, seems to be a percentage base, incidentally. Uh, right, well... As I was saying, though, before I interrupted myself, oh, that's not present space. Damn it. Oh, of course. Of course. Um. Chime Hazard is probably the single most highest damage attack I have to a single target. Some of the multi hit things can deal more damage overall, but not to a single target. Uh, right, so. I still have 10 Phoenix Downs. Wow. Wait! I almost forgot the box! It's a Turbo either. Seriously?! Okay, so... Um... Wow. I'm, I mean, I'm not too surprised since she was in my party so long just to get this. But at the same time, it's like, wow, I'm definitely not using Yuffie for a while after this. Uh, let's equip that. Okay. And let's continue on. This warrior went through the cave all alone fighting attackers, one after another. Ho 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 ho, we're almost there. Seriously, he's, I mean, he's being sort of needlessly cryptic here, but he, what can I say? He clearly has a flair for the dramatic, and who can blame him? He's so good at it. After death, the ghosts of the Gi like stagnant air. Okay, yeah, that's creepy. Also, boss time. So, I'm pretty sure these things deal, uh, they're, I'm pretty sure they absorb fire. So, you know, watch out for that. Also, check this out. Oh yeah, yeah, they absorb fire. I don't remember what TakeOver does. So, you know, yeah. Nearly a thousand damage. Actually, that seems a little, little on the low end, to be honest. I was expecting more. Not much more, but a little bit more. Right, so let's just, let's just, um, Aqua Actually, let's double Aqua Lung. 
because let's use the rest of Red's aid. Oh, oh, they're actually immune to that. So I just waste all Red's remaining MP on nothing. Uh, I don't think they're immune to Rumba though. Pretty sure they are not. Let's see. I feel I should do that. Seriously though, don't use Eifert on this battle. You will regret it. Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. Also, sorry I went quiet there, but I was actually not sure if I was hearing something from the game or in real life. Oh, yeah. So, I was not quick enough to heal Yuffie, it seems. Whoops. Oh, she lost her limit break progress. Damn it. That's annoying. Oh, okay, that's that has returned. Okay, heal... He, no. Heal her. And the curse continues! Although I suppose it wasn't a phone call this time, so it could be worse. But wouldn't you know it, somebody comes to my door right in the middle of a recording session. And in the middle of a boss fight, too. Oh, you know what? This will totally work on you guys. Um... I think Shiva will work? I'm not 100% sure. I probably shouldn't be bothering with the fire guys, though. I should just be targeting the guys in the back, but... Chugabumog, I mean... It doesn't do that much damage, but it hits everyone. And it ignores the row problem. Let's see. I'm quite certain these guys are immune to Titan, so I'm not going to use that. And they absorb Ifrit, so I'm not going to use that. So... I think I'm pretty much all summoned out now. Um, seriously, I don't know what that does. I think what that does is it prevents Cloud from hurting him or something that I really don't remember. I should have I should have actually looked this up beforehand because I know that does something important with this fight. But I seriously have no clue what it is. Aha! He's immune to that! And Red, Red resists that as well, actually, because he gave him the element material with fire on his armor. Uh... Right, let's just attack. I mean, I'm still hurting him, so... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to not heal Cloud to see, because I'm pretty sure when Cloud dies, the red guy will come back. I don't know what that'll actually accomplish, but... <laughs> because I'm positive that there's a mechanic in this fight with, with the takeover thing where... Like, I know that does something. That is kind of bad. It might prevent me from killing him, but I don't remember exactly what. I really wish I did. Okay, no. Red, I'm going to heal. Also, I'm going to use that. This is a boss fight, so a buff is, prop uh, is better than a one-off attack, usually. Um, you can... Oh, you have life. Nope. You can use Cure on Red. Oh hey! Oh hey! The thing came out of Cloud! Okay then. I guess you can just time out the takeover as well. I did not know that. Seriously though, I'm gonna have to look up the ta how the takeover mechanic works after this, because I don't remember and it is bothering me. Like, I know where to look it up. I have the page. 
I think I literally have it open right now. I just can't see it because I have ten windows covering it. Including the one I'm, you know, actually playing. Oh hey, Ifrit leveled up. Cool. Wiser staff. I'm pretty sure that's another weep on for Aerith. Yet another one. <laughs> okay. Also, I saw material there. Interesting. Also, I guess that's actually a pretty good way to justify not showing this to Red before now. He le legit couldn't reach it. So I'm pretty sure that gravity material is missable. Uh, although, honestly, it's not really that great. I mean, it just gives you Demi, I think. Yeah, it's just Demi. Lots of things are immune to gravity magic, for one thing. And for another, I just don't really like percentage damage. It's just not that good. Most of the time. Interesting. But he was never able to return. Look, Danaki, look at your father, at the warrior, Seto. Full of petrified and full of arrows. Also, a fair bit beefier than, than um, red, it must be said. I guess that's the benefit of not being a, a low polygon sprite. Even after the geese, poisonous arrows turned his body to stone. Even after they all ran away, he continued to protect us. And he continues to protect us even now. You thought that he was a coward that ran away, but he alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. Presumably he's the one who keeps the Gi trapped here so that their spirits can't, you know, wander into the canyon itself. Okay. Which further, which goes on to further explain why you did not tell Red before now, even though that it seems very misguided to me. I mean, it's misguided on their part, not yours. You were honoring their wishes. It's a good thing you didn't say anything there, Yuffie, because if you had ruined this moment. <laughs> mm hmm. I mean, I want him to continue his journey with us as well. So. Okay. A little pessimistic there. Or do you know something that we don't? Actually, since you mentioned Sephiroth, I really don't see how he is a threat to the planet at large. He's certainly a threat to a big portion of humanity, uh, the way he's been going. But the world at large, I'm not so sure about. No, you make a good point. A hundred and thirty- yeah, you see, I wasn't kidding when I said he was freaking old. Floats around on a ball or something, he doesn't have any legs, he's a hundred and thirty. He's not red species, actually red species probably lives a lot longer than he does, but at the same time... At the same time... I'm not sure he's actually human. <laughs> I feel like he would not be alive right now if he was human. That's quite sweet, though. Hmm. 
No, it's not Materia. Although it, it both looks and sounds like it. No, the statue that Seto was, you know, petrified into is crying. He, after all, he protects the canyon even now. That's good. You came in- what? <laughs> what are you saying, Barret? Um... No. Screw you, Katesy! And, well, actually, I need to remove your stuff. Uh, definitely using Tifa, though. I mean... Red is gonna just come right back to us any second now, so I'm not really worried about that. I mean, I don't think that's a spoiler to say that, I mean, maybe it takes away some of the, uh, some of the suspense from the moment, but there's no real suspense. Come on, who are you kidding? So yeah, he's coming with us. Okay. I think I grew up a little. That's... That is such an adorable line. <laughs> oh, we will, man. We will. And on that note, join me next time when we ex continue to explore in the buggy in Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Until then, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!